Well, Ragna, we've got ourselves into a bit of a situation here. Um, it seems that a lot of people are pretty angry with you. Are you going to stay here and try and fight anyway, or... Well, let's look at it this way. We got four units that are going to be in the fray if we do stay and fight. Uh, and unfortunately, we can't take out this Ballista, even by combining our forces. So, yes, I think I am actually going to... It's tempting, though. It is It is very tempting. It is very tempting to want to just kill all these guys. Um, I could do... They're also arranged in such a way that I can't attack one with Ragna and have my skelly next next to Ragna to attack another one, unless... Yeah, so what what's what's the range on the ballista here? Um You know, I'm not one for half measures, but I think let's take a half measure on this. We will move you back one space and have you finish off these alchemists. That's probably too much in between, and I should either fight or I should fly, but oh well. Hey guys, I'm the Comic Foil, and we're doing a Ragnar mission where we're actually battling against Caesar's forces. Um, I don't even know what Ragnar's groove is. We're gonna find out. I could, I could just look it up, but like, I'm kind of excited to be, ex to be surprised by it. So... I'm gonna move the wagon here and wait. Gonna load. Oh, whoops. Ah. Sorry, I screwed up. Um. Okay. Moving a knight over here. And. Yeah, bat. I did a bad job there. But okay, we really need to try and take this. Uh, this barracks. There's another barracks down there, though. I didn't even notice. Ugh. Oh. Alright, and let's, um... Let's keep doing, uh, fast-moving knights. Knights now, siege weaponry later. I messed up with the wagon, and now... Yeah, the, pl the plan was to have the dread spear in the wagon. Oh, yeah. Water keeps failing to work the way I expect. Alright, so now we really need to retreat Wa Ragna. We, we really need to retweet Wagna. We really need to retreat Kurt Wagner, the Nightcrawler. My, my favorite X-Men. Do you have a favorite X-Men? My, mine is definitely Nightcrawler. Like, no contest. Um, you know, we'll keep you there like that. But, uh... Yeah, yeah, so this this skelly is going to hold the line back here. I'm going to hold the bridge. And probably get killed. Uh, Pikeman can't reach it, but, you know, fully powered ballista and fully powered ranger here, they're they're not they're not gonna last very long. Um, so Okay, so we can still do something pretty good, just not as, not as, not quite as good as we were supposed to. And I think, I think we'll have a better time if we move the knight over this way. So... Yeah, first let's, first let's, uh, capture this barracks. And now we can, um, we can build a new unit here instead of all the way back there. Oh, except we can't yet. We, we, we can't this turn, but we will be able to next turn. Um, let's capture this point, too. Um, that might get arrowed and ballisted as well, but at least it'll uh, 
separate their action a little bit between my Skelly and my um, Pike Skelly and my Skelly Town. <laughs> it's a Skeletown. And start moving you down here. Th this knight's gonna take the shortcut. So let's uh, let's do let's let's do one more Dread Knight. We'll, we'll do one more Dread Knight. It's not the best move, but. You know, because I know I can get them down here quickly. I... Didn't think you would all reach the night that easily. That was, uh... That was disappointing, to say the least. Yeah, and unfortunately this isn't Fire Emblem, that I don't get to just attack this archer for free. The archer will be able to respond, and it will be brutal. Um, but okay, you let me start establishing this base over here, and that will be your downfall. Because uh, I have enough now for a trebuchet, but first let me uh, move this archer here. Yeah, let's let's make a trebuchet. No, not a not a not a ballista. Hey, don't don't end turn. Do not end turn. Uh, trebuchet. Okay, there's a lot going on here. The uh, the giant makes things much worse than they were before. But we can move back just a little bit and move Ragna back a little bit as well. Okay, so assuming that the Ballista takes out the Skeleton, you would be able to move one, two, three, and then shoot one, two, three. So trees would still be in the way. So we'll move Ragna back a little bit more than that. And let me get that again. One, two, three, one, two, three. So let's move the horses here. Okay, they have a lot of pikemen, so that's a bit of a problem. But oh well, I'm gonna I'm gonna move the wagon back because now we can we can start doing where we'll, 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 we can make multiple units in one turn. So I might still make units at this stronghold and use the wagon to get them up to the front lines. That might be a good idea, especially because we'll need things besides just horses over here. Uh, let's see how it goes then. Okay, you're shooting at my stronghold. At, 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 at my town. Okay, you did that in a different order than I was expecting. And you're, you're going to focus more on getting people up the bridge and staying out of the way of my trebuchet. So... I believe a Ballista has a longer... Well, let's check. Uh, range 2 to 5, whereas your range is 2 to 6. And so, yeah, Ballista does have a longer range than a Trebuchet. So... Trebuchet is actually not absurdly useful here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, okay, we, we we don't need more knights, but we do need more, like, movement. We need more movement in general. So how about... Yeah, how about a warlock? I think a warlock would be a good idea bring the wagon up here to get the warlock down there next turn. And we can reinforce Ragna, which I think we should do. Yeah, I do I'm not in love with the idea either, but like... Yeah, if we're, if we're going to fight off all of this next turn, we should probably 
be prepared there. Let's see. If my trebuchet was here, I'd be able to fire not there, but two, three, four, five on whatever unit was waiting there. What's your range? You can. Oh. Ah, oh boy, you can get to my pikemen there. We're gonna we're gonna leave you be. We're gonna leave you be right there. Yeah, we're gonna try and see if we can, like, go to the giant over this way. So, everybody else is just gonna wait. We're gonna- we're gonna end our turn and see what happens. You got it. You got it. I find this is how I approach most missions and most tactical games, is you start out defensive, and, and then you transition into... Offense. So, yes, that was a one-shot. I know. But it's gonna be okay. Um, I don't love that either. Uh, R Ragna's got her groove, though. Ragna, Ragna's ready to go over there. Yeah, you're bringing the knights up. That's, I mean, the pikes up to kill the knights. That's fine. Um, so obviously, we're going to want to attack the giant right here. And that's going to all but completely stop this giant, which I will finish off with my archers. Good. Good, that is taken care of now. I'll hunt you down, Caesar! You won't escape Ragna! So... Yeah, and I think this will be worth it to, you know, this pikeman's gonna, this pikeman's gonna get messed up, but it won't get messed up until next turn, and I'll have already messed up one of their archers, so that's, that's cool. So what, what is your groove here? Um, shield jump. What's it do? Oh, it looks like it damages people. Oh, boy. Um. Okay, what, what's the range on the trebuchet? All right, so, I mean, you know, trebuchet, same thing. Let's shield jump to here. Let's see it. Boom. Oh, I didn't like that, actually. I mean, that that's a very cool move, don't get me wrong, but it wasn't very helpful to me at this juncture. I would have rather done a basic attack there, but I understand you can do AoE damage. That's... that's... very good. Um, just wasn't what I was looking for at this exact second. Luckily, um, he can run on water sometimes. So... Yeah, let's show me what you got. And I'm also gonna give you a... Warlock to work with. I want to say Alchemist, but... See, for some reason, I guess I've watched enough things where Alchemist feels, like, darker. That it should be, like, a darker kind of thing. Which is making me not want to call them Alchemists, but... Which, which is making me think Felheim should have Alchemists, but Warlock is also very dark, so I like the name Warlock. I guess I just think, I don't know, Wizard might have been better... Alchemist makes it sound very scientific, though. And, like, progressive that way. Yeah, sorry, I'm trying to decide... 
what I want here, then. Let's, uh... Let's diversify our units here. I know I have enough knights already, but now I'll have a knight down here. So that'll be cool. Should have built him on this square instead, uh, so that he could charge through to help next turn. And, uh... I can make someone else up here, but maybe I'll just wait. I'll just save... I'm, I'm just gonna save that, uh... I'm gonna save that 140 gold to get some good siege weaponry. Alright, so knights are tough, but Ragna's tougher. So yeah, if you have a full health Ragna and you shield jump into a big situation, you can basically, yeah, kind of make a big dynamic entrance. Um, I see how that could be really, really good if used properly. I was using it improperly. So she can basically move anywhere in for her normal range, land, and do AoE damage. It's not a ton of AoE damage, but it was like 50% damage to those two pikemen. Now, do you think it's 50% damage to everyone, or do you think it depends on the defense of the unit? Like, I don't think it would be 50% 50, 50 defense on everybody. That, that would be a little bit too good. Um, okay, so you can, like, move onto water if it's next to a non-water space, I think, but you can't keep moving through water after that. You can't move from one water space to another. I, I, I think that's the rule we are going with. But alright, Ragnar's going to tear through them, and gosh darn it, I didn't set up a timer again. So I think, instead of setting up a timer, I'm just going to uh, carry this mission to its end. I think is what I'm going to do. Um... Okay, so that alchemist can get to you. That's that. That's a shame. But okay, trebuchet. Trebuchet can't reach anybody. Really? All right. Um. Yeah. One shot the dogs. And finish you off. Okay, we're gonna do something even nastier then. Instead of using the trebuchet directly in battle, we're gonna move it around and eventually use it to take out the units over here, I think. I think I think that's gonna be my plan. So let's pick a fairly inexpensive unit to make. Let's uh let's make another warlock here. And I'm gonna start moving my wagon around this way. Yeah, I'm gonna gonna put some pressure on you guys down here. Uh, right, and you need infantry, infantry to capture places. Infantry. Uh, gonna save that 340 gold because uh, because next turn I I want another siege weapon. When do I get to start using giants? Can I can I make a giant in this chapter? Oh man, what would the giants for this place look like? Would it just be a giant skeleton? Um, yeah, it's not letting me make giants yet. I don't have enough for another trebuchet, but I could build a ballista. I could. Do I want to? Um, a trebuchet down here. Uh, which might be a bit of an issue, but we can maneuver around it, I think. Yeah, so let's have... Let's have Ragna do some damage to this ballista. Oh my gosh, I love her, and I love this voice actor, and I love how there is not even an ounce of chill to go around. Yeah, 
yeah, once... Once we have this area, like, a little bit more secured... Oh, we're gonna have to think about this giant coming up here, though, too. Yeah, I'm gonna start asserting my dominance, I think. Yeah, I'm gonna start asserting my dominance over here. <laughs> With the freaking trebuchet, they're, they're all looking like, what the heck? What is that doing there? Um, it, it's just kind of being up in your business, man. I don't know what to tell you. Alright, full charge knight. You love to see it. Yeah, I still, I don't know. I don't feel right just turning off the animations. Because I like watching animations. So now we can do something like capturing this place. Uh, excuse me a second, I'm getting a call I need to take. Alright, sorry about that. Yep, um, supervising my peoples. Uh, yeah, so I wanted... The, while, I was, while I was talking to them on the phone, I started like actually thinking about some of my moves here. Um, no, I, I am still going to do it that way, though. I'm going to send that guy down here, and I'm going to have you capture this point. And... Yeah, alright, cool. So I want to... I want the knights to be somewhere where maybe I can do a good bit of damage to this ballista next turn, depending on where it moves. And now the... The location of the front lines has changed now, so I might not do very much with my northern base up here. I think all the fighting we're gonna settle down here from now on. Uh, let's see. What do, what do I want now? Let's... So I'm looking at the effectives list. Yeah, I think a new, um... Having a ballista might be a good idea. Yeah, let's... Let's get a ballista. Let, let's, um... I know they don't have range units, but, yeah, just to be able to, you know, start wreaking havoc on all their towns over here, and we'll save the other 140 gold. Another trebuchet would be better, but that's more expensive. Caesar, you got a lot of gold. What are you... It's because they only have one barracks, though. Caesar wasn't able to capture any of these other barracks, so Caesar's still stuck only making one new unit every turn. Sucks to be them. So, how do we want to do this now? Because this definitely changes things. Uh, this knight can't reach anywhere. No, it cannot. No, it cannot. Um, so one thing we know we're going to do, we know we're going to capture this point and get a little bit more money for next turn. Yeah, so let's, um, even with our weaker knights, we're going to bully this trebuchet a little bit. Um, especially with the weaker knights, since you can't counterattack to kill them. finish you off right there. This is also going to create a wall so that the Stone Giant can't get through. And even though the Stone Giant's going to kill one of my knights, it's not too big of a deal because they're damaged anyway. It's not like the most precious of a resource. But also, why don't we move Ragna in? Uh, or, yeah, how would you do? Not, not, not super well. Um, no, I'll have Ragna work on taking over this town. Get out of my way! Um, yeah, st stuff with, uh, battling the towns just isn't quite as interesting to me. It's not, it's not as fun to watch. Um. 
But yeah, we, we'll take over this town. Rock this town, rock it inside out. Rock this town, make it scream and shout. Okay, I could either try and take out the swordsman faster, or I could capture this town. I'm gonna, I'm gonna capture the town. More, more money next turn. Uh, Pikeman, you're not really good for too much right here, but so can I load? No, I cannot load siege weaponry onto a wagon. I did not think so. Uh. Let's make another one, because this is, uh, pretty funny. This is pretty funny to me. Okay, alright, okay. Uh, this spot will be safe. And... Wagon's gonna wait there. And I have only 40 gold to spare. But yeah, now I'm gonna have now I'm gonna have more money than I know what to do with. So I thought originally Caesar was going to advance on me and I'd have to fight Caesar around the middle of the map, but instead um, Caesar's Sting put, which is kind of more fun for me because it means I get to continue this conquest across the entire the entire board. Um, it's really fun actually, it's, especially since I have two barracks he only has one so he's only making one unit but here comes caesar caesar's uh caesar is mobilizing now so let's capture this now we can make units down here and like collapse upward good times uh yeah this is already paying off because i'm gonna hit you you're not even you didn't even see it coming, except you can, because this is a uh, tactical game, and you can, you know, see the whole map. But, boy, I bet you were surprised. All right, Caesar, what's your range here? You don't have your groove yet, which is good. Um, it's going to be a bit of a problem once you do get that groove. So let's move this up here. And... Yeah, I think let's, um, I think, I think let's do our best, even, even though we're going to weaken all of our knights, let's, let's try and get this tower weakened. I wonder how much giants cost, too, because they're always a pain and a half to take down. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Gosh darn it. Oh, that gives me just low enough that I can't buy another, um, ballista. But that's okay. I, w I wasn't really thinking the list of this turn anyway. Let's let's think of another unit to make. How how about a new? Yeah, yeah, that sounds good. Ah, uh, another dread bow. You're gonna wait there. I'm actually gonna I'm actually gonna have this knight sacrifice itself just to do a little bit more damage and then move Ragna in. Alright. Take this! So like not the best, but pretty good, I think. So giants are yeah, if this is all being done to scale, the giants are about like twice the height of any given thing. Um, that knight can just wait till next turn. And so can this wagon. And... You know, as fun as it sounds to, like, make another random, like, swordsman or something all the way up there, I, I won't. Alright. So this giant would rather lower my unit count, even if it's, you know, my weakest, stinkiest units. All units have their use. I should have taken into account that ranger and where it could move. That's my fault. Oh, Caesar, you're backing off now, huh? Backing off. And I see you also have a trebuchet. So... Yeah, I'm gonna be a bit of a bully here. I 
can't quite finish you off like that. What is the range of the trebuchet? Okay. How about the ballista? Can the ballista hit? Yes. Yes, the ballista can hit the giant. And that's low enough now that somebody like my... Well, it's low enough that pretty much anybody now can finish off this giant. So I'll do it with you. So yeah, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna just try and lower your unit count. Damage variance kind of screwed me over there a little bit, but I think I have it now. Okay, I'm, I'm fine. I can, I can live with that. With, I can live with that. Yeah, get get those get those darn archers out of there. Where is he? I've searched everywhere. Show yourself. And I think I think I'm okay with Ragna fighting the rest of these dudes, if, if, if it means... Fight me! If it means taking these mages somewhat off the board. I think I think Ragnar can survive the rest of it. Um, yeah, then I'll need to uh, move her back again, but... Yeah, let's move the warlocks over to capture this next village, and we'll just... We'll just keep going like that. Um, gonna make a knight here. A, a surprise knight. Load you up. Um, do I want to drop you there? Yeah. I could I could stay in the movie a little bit closer, but that, that's okay. Um... Yeah, and we'll make another one. Oh, this is so deliciously evil. I like that it still plays the Felheim music when you're Felheim. Like, now this is, like, the music that plays on our turn. Yeah, because this is usually the music that's playing while I'm making decisions and stuff. So it makes it more like this is the theme of Mercia. And oh! Oh! Nope, I screwed it up. I screwed it up. I think Caesar's gonna kill me now. Uh, no, I don't think Caesar has the movement to kill me, actually. Okay. That was almost very, very bad. Um, but we're going to have to make a swift retreat, especially now that, um, oh, this is very bad, actually. Now that Caesar has his groove, we need to, oh boy, we really need to get Ragna out of here now. So what's going to get Ragna furthest away? And then shield jump. I kind of want to use the shield jump offensively, though. take you out. I mean, the shield jump would have, would pretty much assure that I got far enough away. But I don't think I need it. I don't... No, I don't... I don't think I need it. Um... How would we do there? I don't think that would be quite enough damage. How about my... How about my archers? Okay. We're gonna move the archers down. Um, we're also gonna bully this town a little bit. Just for, just for the laughs. Just for the lulls. Yeah. 
yeah, we're gonna move you back and we're going to, uh, we're gonna do a heal. Cool. Okay. Yeah, it was either that or finish off the archer, but I think I like this more. This is safer. Um... So let's look at your range here. Your range. Move you up all the way over here. Take this village. And can they attack that village? Yeah, they can, but it would still take up an action for them to do that, so I'm gonna take my time to capture it. Um, can you reach here? Can you reach here? go around. We'll take the long way around. So, how far can you move? You can move up to there, so I will put you above this town so that you can load in. I don't see you making a lot of pikemen right now. Um, you'll probably make more now that I'm getting close to you and you need cheap units that can defend, but I'm gonna make another knight there. And, uh, good enough. We have 92 gold left. Okay, they just built another, uh, stone giant. Yeah, and that trebuchet wasted its turn. It okay, alright, so that's how you want to use your war groove now. You're using it very... Defensively, I respect that. Dude, trebuchets are so cool, though. I, I approve of the use of trebuchet in this game. Alright, so now my turn to do some cool stuff. Uh, not as much cool stuff as I would like, but some cool stuff. Gonna ballista the ballista. And how about you? If I go all the way up, can I? Yeah, I can one shot the trebuchet. I got. I gotta do it. I'm gonna. I'm gonna basically trade a knight for a dead trebuchet, and that is a good trade for me. It's like chess. It's all about trades. Um. How about you? What What can you get up to, knight? Okay. Um. Now, given the choice between hitting this ballista more and... Is that gonna be a free... Yeah, that, that'll be a freebie. So yeah, we can, we can have archers attack the ballista. That's no problem. Because siege weaponry doesn't counterattack. Uh, can you finish off there. Yes. Uh, just doing a one-for-one -one trade there. Um, so what I want to do is start heal... Excuse me. Start uh, healing Ragna more and more. I'm going to try and do a big shield jump in a couple turns. get to. Let's move you around over here and yeah, to keep you busy. Keep you busy. I'm gonna gonna keep that mage into it. Uh, we got another archer. We can move up. Drop you there. And what do I want next? I want... But what I want is another, tre another trebuchet, but we can't always have the things that we want, so we'll settle for a ballista. And I'm going to bully this town a little bit. J just, just for the sake of it. Just to put pressure so that I'm... 
You know, I don't know how much the computer thinks like a person, but it tends to be pretty even with things like... Like how the computer can't see in Fog of War and stuff like that, which I really appreciate. So I like to think that by attacking that town, I can kind of force them into making a more difficult move. I don't know if it's really going to work that way, but I would like to think. <laughs> I would like to think, but it's it, it's too difficult. Thinking is too difficult. Oh, you do have two strongholds. You've had two strongholds this entire time, so what's what's taking you so long making units? You had a lot of money. Have you just been going easy on me, Caesar? Because I don't appreciate that. Alright, so Ballista takes out Ballista. And... Trebuchet takes out this town. And I'm gonna claim the town. Uh... I'm also gonna take out this town. Oh, it's so mean. It's all so very, very mean. Um... Yeah, yeah, I'll keep moving Siege Weaponry away this way. Because I'm going to... If you don't want to fight me, I'm just going to keep taking your towns, man. Well, we'll do it that way. Okay, they're not... They're not going to be able to take out all of these rangers. Hard as they might try. So we're going to capture this. And um, I'm going to go for the win next turn. Yeah, ne I, I think next turn will be the win turn. Because, because I mean, look at this, man. Okay, Giant's getting right up in my business here. Um, I didn't really think you'd be able to get around to where Ragna is, so good job there. You did manage to mess up my plan, but th this, is still, this is still the win turn, make no mistake. I mean, I think, I think this is the win turn. I think it is, but if you want to, if, if you want to, uh, if you want to challenge me, then we will see. Let's start with, yeah, yeah, Trebuchet is going to take you right out there, and we're going to have to heal. That's not how I wanted to do that exactly, but that's how I've decided to do it now. Um, I don't even care about the rest of your towns now. No, now I'm gonna... I said this is the... I said we're on the win turn, so I intend to win. Uh, no, I lied. This isn't the win turn. Nope, this is not the win turn, but we will, uh, we will do our best anyway. Because we will move you up to get rid of that ballista. Maybe, maybe next turn. Maybe next turn will be the win turn. Man, I wanted that to be the win turn. I have so much money now. I have so much money and I'm not even I'm not even going to spend any of it. I'm not even going to spend any of it. I'm just going to be a jerk. Okay. Man, I don't I don't like attacking Caesar like this though. It makes me feel bad. All right. Caesar made a new giant. That's okay. Wind turn is coming. Because we are going to shield jump on you right here. I'm unstoppable! Alright, we get to use we get to use shield jump as intended, which is very fun. And then we're going to ballista you. And pew! Then 
archers. It's only 9%, really. Oh, don't tell me this wasn't the wind turn. No, I, I, I refuse to believe it. I refuse to believe it. We can, we can do this, guys. No power in the verse can stop me. This isn't even about victory anymore. This is about winning on this turn. I will not settle for anything less. Okay, I'm gonna have to settle for less. I'm gonna have to settle for less, guys. Okay, um, maybe if we still... Maybe we still, like, do this. And do this. And we can, like... Try and take you out from over here. No, no, no. Ah, that's infuriating. Oh, that made me sad. You make me sad. Okay, fine. You've lasted another turn, man. Gonna take out your giant here. Alright, draw your last pathetic card, Yugi. I, uh... I am so upset by how long you've managed to survive. I'm gonna... Maybe if I focused on the stronghold instead, maybe that would have been the better way to go. Because, like... I had a bunch of people that could attack the stronghold. Yeah, I should have gone for the stronghold. I wanted it to be Caesar. I... You know, I talk like, Oh no, but it's a dog. I don't want to hurt the dog. It's a little puppy. And then I, like, get the chance and I go all in on attacking Caesar. Oh, are you making it the wind turn? Am I gonna get the wind turn by counterattack? It's over, loser! Is it over? You made it the wind turn. It wasn't on my wind turn, but you know what, Caesar? You went out on your own, own terms. I respect that. <laughs> I win! But I still don't know who the heck Caesar is! Yeah! I won! She's so happy. She finally got a W. I'm the greatest warrior that ever died! Ragna. <laughs> Balder constructed you, you Balder constructed you using the remnants of the finest warriors from throughout history. You boast all their res you boast all their resilience, their cunning, and especially their might. And what what do you do with these gifts? <sighs> you brawl with a dog. <gasps> a dog? A dog! <laughs> Idiot. Don't, don't sell her short, short. Did you see what Caesar can achieve last episode? And I got an S rank. I didn't just brawl with a dog, I S ranked that dog. Alright, I can now play as Ragna in arcade mode. Isn't that nice? Um, so I think that's gonna be it for this episode. Let's uh, take a quick look at the codex. Did we. Learn anything else? We, we, we've we read up on Ragna already, haven't we? Um, did we? I don't... Oh man, I, I can't remember what I've read and what I haven't read. Uh, yeah, let's read this real fast. Ragna, created by Baldur to be the ultimate commander, Ragna is a patchwork assembly of the best parts of history's greatest warriors. She strives to be the baddest she can be. She is Queen Mercy's dedicated adversary. I think this is new. Never asked Ragna... Never ask... It's an instruction. Never ask Ragna if she thinks of Baldur as her dad, because she'll punch you. Nonetheless, she shows him filial devotion. While Ragna may not find it particularly easy to express her feelings, they are writ large by her actions. Beyond anything else, she longs to impress her creator and make him proud of her. Unfortunately, her ardent desire is frustrated by two considerations. First, while it's clear that Baldur has a great deal of time for his young zombie commander, he's not the sort to outwardly express pride or affection. And second, despite her impressive progenitors and, ir and irrepressible zeal, Ragna often falls a little short of the victory she seeks. In fairness, or in fairness to Ragna, it serves us well to remember that she is only five years old. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Yeah, she's also like mentally and emotionally not fully matured. 
Um, okay, so, I'm the Comic Foil, and that was some more War Group, having a good time. Uh, yeah, I've read Caesars before. He was born on the summer solstice, etc. Inspire, inspire strategy. Oh, they give you, like, strategies and stuff? That's great. Okay, cool. Um, I will see you next time when we get back into the story proper. Uh, Act 3, Mission 2, The Quagmarsh. Should be fun.